Hello there, Spartans. So today I'm going to teach you all how to, you know, like install a crack game. Because for some of you who can't afford games and or you just want to play a game but you don't want to buy it because you know it's crappy but you want to see how it is, um, I'll show you how to crack a game and get into it. So first of all, this is your first assignment. You want to go to the piratebay.se and here you'll search your game. You know, you click games and you'll get pop-ups sometimes and then you like type uh, I don't know, Siren. And there we go, Siren, new translation, Blood Course, lol. Um, but yeah, as you can see, results come up. Today I'm going to be doing, uh, excuse me, had to burp there. I'm going to be teaching you how to do, um, whatchamacallit, Duke Nukem Forever. Because that's going to be my next montage video called Duke Nukem Forever, Forever Horrible. So first of all, you want to have this program called Daemon Tools Lite. You can easily download that like through a Google search. And uh, your first process is downloading your torrent or whatever. And you want to use uTorrent for that. And as you can see, already finished. Uh, let it seed though, so that way other people can download it as well. So what you want to do is you want to do add DT virtual drive. This will add a virtual device. Boom, simple enough. And uh, if you don't know what this does, just in case, if you go to your computer, as you can see, BD-ROM drive E. That is your new virtual device. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add an image. You want to go to your downloads, do, do forever. And uh, sometimes it will say power ISO file. If you have power ISO, it really depends. So now you want to double click that. And here we have the welcome to the Razer 1911 installer. You can select the destination folder. I usually put it under games, so I know where it is. Start menu folder, you know, whatever. Install. Uh, is required from disk one. Let's look for that. So what we can do is we can go in here. Okay. Kaboom. This is gonna install. And it'll take a while to install. Uh, usually it does. You just have to be patient. So. I'll check back in with you guys when this is done installing. Oh, and one thing I forgot to tell you guys, this is still installing by the way. <clears throat> one thing I forgot to tell you guys, sometimes you will not just have, you know, the simple ISO file, or um, how, how may I say it, um, if you go into your computer sometimes, you will see this, you go inside, load, oh wait, quick, 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 nope, nope, I do not want to do that, okay. And we go into this, and sometimes uh, if you go in, you'll see, like, crack. And the most important part when you do not know what you are doing is you go to the README. And it has Italian, French, Espanol, Dutch, but, uh, of course, we're English. So we're going to read this real quick. See, it says table of contents, minimum and recommended system requirements, known issues, limited software warranty. This is what you need. Known issues. Go to that customer service, whatever, limited software, warranty, um, this does not tell us how to install, which is retarded, um, let's see, it should, Razer 19, Logitech LCD, what, okay, system, huh, okay, um, what was that, program, cancel, okay, this is going to continue going, this is lagging my system to hell. Um, but sometimes it'll have a README, and you need to read that, because that will tell you what to do and what not. So just do remember, read that. It's worth it. So that way you don't screw up your system. Because you can really screw up your install installs and stuff. So remember, always read the README that is inside the freaking download. And, uh... If you want to properly uninstall this or you want to remove the virtual drive, what you do is you go, oh my god, just stop it. Calm yourself. You go back into your daemon tools, and what you'll do is uh, you'll do remove the drive. There you go. It's deleted. Simple as that. So I'll check back again with you real quick. Also, just another reminder, if you enjoy the game, please buy it. When I get a game that I really want to get, like, for example, let me go to Steam real quick. I spent $75, I believe, getting Assassin's Creed 3 because I really like that series. 
and I was like, you know what, I'll be a good Samaritan, and I will buy it. So if you enjoy the game, buy it. I'm not saying go out and torrent every single game you want. This is kind of like a last resort, or if it's a crappy game. I already know this is a crappy game. <laughs> Believe me, I've heard enough things to know about it. But all these games that I do, most of these games I do playthroughs of, and I enjoy them, I always buy them. So I'm not saying go out and torrent stuff just because you want to. Please support the developers. They put a lot of hard work into bringing us entertainment. Just like how I bring, I bring entertainment to you guys, but it's not done with a few button clicks. It's a lot of hard work, so please do support the developers. Welcome back, guys, and our thing has successfully been cracked or whatever, and uh, we're just gonna start this little shortcut up. Browse. What? Okay. Um. Don't know what the hell. Just a little shortcut, apparently. I don't know, whatever. But um, what we can do now is we can get rid of this. I think we can, at least. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, we can get rid of this now. So let's re-go back into Daemon Tools. Kaboom. <clears throat> and it's as simple as one, two, three, when this gets up. Okay. It's as simple as one, two, three. Delete these. God, I am burping a lot. Why the hell is that? <laughs> yes, I want to delete the selected items. Remove items, yes. And then what we're going to do, we're going to remove this bad boy. Kaboom. And get rid of that. Removing the virtual device. And there we go. And now, if we go into computer, or wherever you installed it, for me, it would be in games. We have Duke Nukem Forever. And uh, we have another README is just talking about that crap. Fonts, maps, movies, system, shaders, PC. I don't know where the um, thing is saying, hey, here's how you start it up. Static meshes, skin meshes, redistribution, DCO setup, okay. And we gotta set up another few things. Dual core optimizer. I have a I have a quad core. I don't need that. DirectX. Um, cancel. No, apparently not. Okay. <laughs> VC Redist x86. Just do that real quick. Can never be too careful. And it should be all good to go. Now, what's concerning me is repair. I said repair next. What's concerning me is that there's no Duke Nukem. Uh, we'll start menu or whatever. It doesn't say something. I don't know. I'm just probably going senile. That's just my opinion. Okay, let's just search the start menu. Duke Nukem. Forever. Finish. Windows is search menu Duke Forever.exe, which is not popping up. Which is quite odd. Um, 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 it should be here. Which is really concerning me now, because we are missing dukeforever.exe. I don't give a crap. <coughs> that is odd. Redistribution, nope, system. Yeah, apparently it doesn't have... Well, this is odd. Let's go back to the place where I installed it. The Pirate Bay. The greatest place for pirating stuff. Pirate search. Okay, Cedars. Yep, this is the one I got. <laughs> and I seeded it myself. Okay, uh... Okay, start the game with admin rights. Copy the whole content from the crack directory to your install folder and overwrite existing. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. Apparently, I had to copy everything from this folder and then exit out of that. And then we go into our computer and do this and go into games. Duke Nukem Forever. 
and you just do a little bit of a uh, overwriting and merging all that good stuff and then it should give you yes copy and replace all that good stuff oh yeah oh yeah okay let's calm down <clears throat> and inside I believe it's in system here yeah there we go wait 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 oh yep there we go Duke forever copy that I'm gonna bite off your head and shit down your neck let's just copy this and put it back in there <laughs> so it's copying all these items great I'm gonna rename this just uh, Duke Nukem forever oh wait oh wait I forgot one thing Cannot forget. I can't put a semicolon apparently. Um, but yeah, put that in your games. This is going to continue doing its thing. And there you go. You have a steaming pile of crap on your computer. Oh god. Stay tuned for the montage. And I hope this really helped you all. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the, play the video, please give it a like and a favorite, and subscribe to become a Spartan, because a Spartan a day keeps the Persians away. Bye bye